Okay, welcome back. Uh, there's one sort of thing that you're going to run across when you see uh, average scores and measures of variability. And this is really important because it's pretty practical um, in terms of how we think about scores compared to other scores. And it is called a percentile, or sometimes you'll see it called a percentile rank. Percentiles are pretty useful. A percentile just says your score is higher than some percentage of the people. who also took the, I'm going to say test, because that's easiest, the test or measure. Okay? So, sometimes you'll see on advertisements and things like this, um, John took the MCAT at such and such and such and such and such and such a place, he got in the, uh, a lot of times it's like 99.99th percentile. That means that whoever this John guy is that took this MCAT prep class he outscored 99.99% of the people who took the exam, the MCAT, okay? And you'll see this a lot. So GREs, when they give you your GRE scores, they'll have this. So they'll say, um, you got a something, 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 uh, verbal something, 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 uh, math, something, something, um, logic. I don't even remember what the sub, subscores are for the GREs anymore, or the sub, subscales or, or portions of the GRE are anymore. But with each of these, it will say something like 86th percentile. Or it'll say something like 50th percentile, or it'll say something like um, 10th percentile. You want these numbers to be high because that means you were essentially better than a lot of people who took the exam, uh, who took the exam. These percentiles a lot of times are based on normal distributions, which we were just talking about. in a mode or here. This should be bell-shaped and symmetrical. I didn't draw it very well. Okay, so the mean, median, and mode are all in the same place, right? And so let's say that you score in the 55th percentile or something like that. So um, this is the 50th percentile. It's always right in the middle. So the 50th percentile is always right in the middle. And then as you recall, every time we go up, we have a set number of scores. So if you scored one standard deviation above the mean, uh, that's what 50 plus 34. So that's uh, what 80, 84%. So if you scored exactly one standard deviation above the mean on whatever this is, you'd be in the 54th percentile. 
And a lot of standardized tests uh, have a normal distribution or something that's close to a normal distribution. And so this tends to hold true for them. So it, it really is a reference to how high up in the normal curve you are. So remember John, John scored way, way, way up here. He's in the tail, the good tail for that matter, okay? You do not want to be in the fifth percentile. That would be somewhere, actually not there. So the fifth percentile would be somewhere, I guess, over here. That would essentially mean that almost everybody did better than you, right? There are all of these people over here that did better than you. Everybody in here. Okay? So it's not a good thing to be in a low percentile. We want to be in a high percentile. Alright, so that's what a percentile rank was. Pretty simple, super duper useful. In general, you want them to be bigger. Bigger is better. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.